Hey guys, thanks for coming by. I'm finally going to get to see the garden tour. Okay, right here on my take on Home and Garden. And can you believe that queen's wreath vine? Now here we are going along the front, you know, I'd like to show off the way I carve this Asian jasmine on the rock wall in the front of the house, all the way across the front. And I, you know, plants have priority. So I like them growing up on the fence and there's the queen palm there's a canary island palm there's our incredible bougainvillea that likes to keep me in shape by keeping it in shape <laughs> it's just glorious right now and again this is our march front garden Look at the beautiful. Now I'm coming into our Indian Hawthorn and then here's a shot of the house with the three flags. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am flying the Ukrainian flag too. We got the US, the Scottish battle flag with the lion and the Ukrainian flag. And here's United States Marine Corps for our son. And the one you can't beat that I was in, the US Navy in the submarine force. But you didn't come for that. <laughs> you came for the pretty plants and flowers. Look at this golden sedum. Here is some sunset jasmine. You see that sunset looking colors. Here's of course your geraniums that I root and propagate and get through from year after year. Some seasonal pansies and snapdragons and there's that rock crop, golden sedum. And look it out, just in time, just come out. The beautiful wisteria, it's tiny little flowers. They're just popping out. They're not even colored yet. They're not even, you know, fully developed. There's the polka dot plant and that carried through from last year, Petunia. And I want to remind everybody as we tour that we like a cottage garden, okay? That means you have a little more freedom of letting things grow in and around each other. This baluster wall, like the other two, I built. There's the pothos and the pink geranium. Just 
coming out for you. You know, even though it's warmer here in Florida, it's still our spring. Everything's not out yet. So there's Croton and some Viola. Lots of fern and there's the wonderful angel wing begonia. She's not blooming yet. European daisy. And I think I'm trying to see the impatience. Those are technically the sun patients. And here's a white geranium. Now I just split her to get a couple more plants. And you know I have a lot of this flax lily in the front along the border. We have a double border. I built a stone block wall and then I built a smaller skirted wall in front. There's your hybrid petunias. And this is a white bougainvillea. It's, they're just coming out. It's hard to see with the sun on them like this. But I think you can just barely see those coming out and that'll be a mostly white and just a little whisper of pink. And here's your the verbena in, in back in the other pot is what I couldn't remember the name. Real cute, really cute. Pink geranium there. Hibiscus. This one's from last year coming back. I did trim it. Lots of croton. They're, they're on their way back too. There's one that the leaves are just coming back. There's one that's not all back yet. And Agapanthus. Not blooming yet. Or Lily of the Nile depending on which one you know it by. And here's a pride and joy, the crown of thorns in the pink. There's red and there's a light, light yellow that I've ever seen in the crown of thorns. She has gotten really big and pretty. Of course, here's your begonia, your standard, and some yellow snapdragons with them. They love the temperature here, but they gotta be shaded a bit. And this is under uh, one of the Arizona cypress that I put in. This is the standard pink begonia. And there's the cute, sitting by the pond, statue of a boy. And here is your Chef Fleura standard. It takes the heat here. And I'm sh I always like to show you what the temperature is when I'm showing the garden plainly seen. There is, over the uh, arbor is the pink trumpet flower that's not out yet. This is the Plumeria Frashapani seed pod. Look at the size. I'm trying to show you the size. It's like two cigars. <laughs> just full of seeds. And she is just sprouting. So you see, even though it's hotter here, everything's not out yet, but our incredible Queen's Wreath vine is going to make up for that here in a second. And here I like, you know, the uh, Sunset Jasmine. Just as long as it stays in the my retainer wall, 
I let it, I let it run, you know, I let it climb the, the wall. Here's some gold sedum again. It just eats the sun for breakfast. It, the sun never touches them. Can't hurt them. Oh, and look at, we got yellow and purple out here. But look at these double lavender flowers on this queen's wreath. Oh, and folks, it has such a perfume. They're, they're just fantastic. Just God showing off again. You know, he's got a lot to show. <laughs> that is a hibiscus coming back from last year. This is a new one. Hibiscus standard. The Hawaiian state flower. And they do pretty well here, but you can't let the frost get them. Some more begonia. Geranium, got to have a ton. Got three or four bird bass around. Here's the little shy girl, and you can see the zebra Triscantia behind. And this is a crinum lily. Beautiful burgundy crinum lily. And there's the yucca. And this is all plumbago. It's starting to come out. It's usually out all year if, it, if it's not cold. And the Jatropha is being taken over by <laughs> the, the beautiful red Bougainvillea. I love the waxy leaves on that Jatropha. That was our magnolia. And here, you're lucky to see these this big. That's a copper plant. And I love tucking in the different things that are, make it fun to walk through the garden. You know, tipped pots, and there's viola, and here's a queen's wreath showing up with Hebe. You know, she's the goddess of youth, so I like to give her a little rub from time to time. Make sure I don't lose it. There we go. Now, I'll be good now. I love this tunnel way. I'm kind of created with the shrubbery and different plants. There's a Jane's Magnolia. It's not in bloom yet. Here's a wonderful spot under the arbor where we have a table, a couple tables, a little tea for two table, an umbrella, and It's not, you know, all out and full like it is, will be here in a while. This bridge I built, and this is a little elm I put in. It's really getting pretty, and the leaves are just coming back. Now, they lose all their leaves like anywhere else. And here's Neptune. And in the empty big pots, you'll notice our bulbs that haven't come up yet. And here's the Thunbergia with one flower on it. I wanted to get it for you. Uh, this Usually this is just loaded. Here's a little red bougainvillea over here by the fountain. Here's our biggest avocado tree. 
And she's up taller than the, the house now. And we actually starting to get fruit off, off of it. Here's going into under the arbor. I love the plants on the table here. Here's Purple Queen with some wonderful giant zinnia. This is the trumpet vine and it'll all be solid again. But you see it's just like anybody's spring that everything's not out yet. All the little four o'clocks are coming out too. And there's a couple pineapple. I put them everywhere I have a space. Just love this walk through. And of course it's prettier when it's, you know, fuller and greener and there's more flowers, but it's it's really getting there. It's another archway. And I'm training that Queen's wreath to go up both the uh, arbor and the archway. So just coming across the front yard again. There's an Arcasia palm. They have to be in the shade. And you can see behind and the front. For the quick mini tour and then we're going to go over to the other side of the driveway. There's the coleus. Love this little grouping in our beautiful. Oh, you remember this planter we got? Oh, man. We, we're nuts about it. Little grouping there. A lot of aloe full of aloe. Angela gets after me because we have more than we need, she thinks. Always got a lizard, wants to get in the show. The little geckos. <laughs> and here's the front again. And here's what he's looking for. This is she. <laughs> We love this planter piece. We got this when we first got together. And I just love the Purple Queen. I let it kind of skirt all around this area. Okay, and there is Knockout Rose and the first bud. You can see the brand new leaves and there's the first bud coming out on it. And it's framed by the Xanadu philodendron behind it and the rubber tree. The rubber tree, which will take over your whole house if you let it, but I don't let it. I keep it in order. Beautiful purple queen. And there you can see with the purple queen, see you can see the brand new lilies coming up. There's a couple pots of them not even close to being out. Couldn't wait much longer to show a garden. It's, it's part of our name title, right? Love this variegated philodendron. 
and the queen again. And Vogue, Vogue and Via over there. That's the angel wing begonia. And next to it was the dragon wing, the round leaf. Verbena. And pansies and viola. And there's the little wagon I built for flower pots. You can see in a video. And there's the other, there's some lilies coming up. Just love a collection. Yeah, you know, the outside looks like the inside, just full. Can't have enough. Can't have enough pots. <laughs> some of you can relate. The Terracotta Angel is a favorite. And then I have a lot of jade trees. I've started from the Mother Jade. Look at this beauty, the shape. My Terracotta Angels. Lots of statues. Here's your standard begonia again. Love the white. It's just a pure white with a little yellow pistol in the middle. Look at this cutie. Now down here in Florida, this philodendron is what you'd have in your house anywhere. I have this outside and I let her climb that big pine tree. Look how sweet. That row of the bigger trees is uh, all viburnum. And look at, we still have poinsettia in bloom. <laughs> Too cute. And this is arrowhead. And it'll take off and run like crazy. So you have to watch it. And this is a homemade birdhouse I made out of cedar. So it can stand the, the weather. And in the English style, I love to just put a surprise out in the garden, like a plate like that, that works with a bird on it. To make the garden interesting, something to see. See, Mr. Squirrel's been digging in that pot. I'm going to take care of him. There's more arrowhead. See, I love letting them go natural, climb up the balustrade. Here is variegated ginger, red ginger, and this is a dandy. This is a Brazilian butterfly plant, and it stays outside. It comes back and stays and reproduces right there. These are my geranium cuttings. There's St. Michael, this big snow on the mountain and the big, every time I'm ready, I'm the <laughs> staghorn fern. I wanna say elkhorn fern. Staghorn fern, really cute. And there's my three different geranium cuttings again. That hedge there is called Silver Spur. It's amazing. It'll give you a thick privacy bush, but it'll climb too. And there's St. Joseph taking care of the little children. And here's a variegated kumquat. And it is so cute. And it is so sour. <laughs> oh. My great grandmother used to make a jam out of the kumquat. It was just out of this world. Now here 
is a real prize for us. This is our double lavender trumpet flower, angel trumpet. Thanks for coming by everybody. Hopefully you liked our video today. Getting you out in the garden. Take care now. And we'll see you in the next Over the Top. There's our flags. Gardening video.